awesome. Whenever you guys are ready to go, we're up and rolling. Sure. I've been thinking about all the things that have happened in 2020 and I can't even keep track anymore. Can you guys, I can't. <laughs> I, I literally can't contract. You literally can't. I'm thinking, like, hold on. Let's go through the, the list. We've got the pandemic. Yep. We've got an economic crisis looming. We've got, yeah. let's see, we have wildfires here in California that's pretty much burning the state down as we speak yeah. to you. Kobe. What, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, Kobe. Oh, my gosh. Um, what are some other awful things that have happened in 2020? Uh, Australia fires. Murder hornets. Murder hornets. Yeah. Um, so, uh, low-key... <laughs> Social injustice. Yeah. Social injustice. Yeah. Ah, that's been, that's been bigger song, than 2020. <laughs> your song could not be more appropriate and timely. I mean, like, <laughs> I, I could imagine why you'd be driven to, to uh, like, these lyrics were just conjured out of you naturally. I can totally get that. This yep. has been, like, the worst year possible. And I'm just, like, every time we talk about Halloween coming up or Christmas, I think, can we just get the closer we get to 2021, the better? Because I'm hoping... Yes. 2020 has been like a throwaway year. Like if there was a calendar of the last like, you know, millennia, if we could just cancel out 2020, that would be great. We'll just exactly. like crumble it up and we'll just all throw it throw out. Throw it away, we'll burn it, it, stomp on it. Yeah, it's not happen. Yeah. By the way, I, I know that you guys are from Quincy, right? From Illinois? Yeah. 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 I grew up in Western Illinois and Eastern Iowa. So we're kind of like fam. Wait, we're like neighbors. What, what town? Yeah, where? I grew up in the Quad Cities. Davenport, Moline, Rock <gasps> Island. Oh, wow. We went to gymnastics meets in the Quad Cities. Yeah. Yep. So you guys, wow. I know you're from Quincy. I'm like, come on, that's family. I mean, you know, we're all yeah. I mean, probably the, the branches do not very far off. Right? No, no kidding. Yeah, nobody tends to leave that area very much, you know. If, if you no. break away from the area, it's like a big deal. But yeah, Quincy's a great, yeah. I mean, you know, you were only like, what, maybe 75 miles from the border of Iowa at that point, right? Keokon? Yeah, true. Yeah, for yeah. real. Y'all, you've been out of there for how many years have you been out? Four going on five. Because yeah. you guys Maybe. are, I mean, you're really young. You're in your early 20s. How old are you? Yeah, we're all 22. I'm about yeah. to learn it so next So, I mean, month. okay, so, like, it's still, like, pretty, like, recent in the grand scheme of time for you. So, yeah. but, yeah, I heard that you were from the Midwest. Really and I was like, I got, right? I got a shout out to, to uh, Quincy, to your hometown, because that's cool. I've been shout to Quincy. Out, Quincy. You what? The people in the Midwest, though, are they not the best? Honestly, people talk about Southern hospitality and everything else, but the nicest people in the entire country are in the Midwest. And like cute and little old Midwestern ladies. Yes. Oh. And it's yeah. like, it's like my, per it's my preferred kind of nice. Like I'll hold the do door yes. open for you, but I don't need to hug you when I meet you. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, yes. Yep. Yep. That's yep. perfect. That's too much. Yes. That's not too overwhelming. Yeah. Very, very. Like very... Salad, it's like, hi, nice to meet you. Come on in. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know you. <laughs> Very sincere, it's true. But like with limit, yeah. like they're not like, they're not overdone. Like the South, I lived in the South and I found exactly. out like, they're, they're low key, like not really sincere. You know what I mean? They aren't. Mm. They, they act like- Hot 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 that hot mm -hmm. Bless your heart, et cetera. <laughs> you know what, you guys are in Nashville now, right? So you're, you're essentially in the South. I used to live in Atlanta and I remembered like, Southern hospitality is not, it's fake. They're faking it down here. It's not real like the it's Midwest, fake. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, truly southern, southernly hospitable. Yeah. In, in, authentically hospitable in a southern fashion. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like how else would you? Was, how else would you say it? That was that was very uh, Cusco's poison. The poison for it was, Cusco. Yeah, it was very diplomatically put. So, <laughs> F twenty twenty, um, you guys, what? How did this? How did this come to be? Did you guys? sit down and say we hate this year so much we should write a song about it like wh where did it come from artistically from wi within you nah um i was just having the worst two weeks and then i went up on the microphone one day and like was freestyling and the, the first verse and chorus came out and then i sent it to them and we were like why don't we just put this on tiktok because you just cussed uh, a million times no one's gonna like us put this out so we just threw it up on tiktok and we thought that that's where it was going to live. Forever. But you never thought it was going to be on TikTok? Yeah, but then how, how did you, I, I really suck at using TikTok, but how did you start to realize, when did you start to realize that like, okay, this is really becoming serious. This is really growing and it's becoming viral and people are noticing. Well, we the literally woke up the next yeah. morning to 5 million views. Five million? Great. Five million in like a night. Wow. 
everything that we had posted before got maybe like 6,000 at most. And so we were just like, did it glitch? Like, is the app wrong? Is this? <laughs> so have you guys been doing, have you guys been collaborating, I guess for lack of a better explanation, musically as friends for a while? How, how's that been? Like, was yeah, there anything oh, like, yeah. like professional and serious prior to you guys doing this on TikTok? Um, yeah, we've kind of been like making music together for fun, like since we were like 14. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's been about seven years. Yeah. yeah, we've been, we started off just singing together and putting little yeah. covers up on YouTube and then playing in our hometown. And eventually we made our way to Nashville and started writing and here we are. There are so many, you know what blew me away about Nashville is I had no idea Nashville was basically like, I mean, I know it's like the country music capital, but it, it has become like, the music epicenter of the United States. Like, I don't even think, I think it overshadows LA. I think it overshadows New Dang. York sometimes. Like Nashville has become the epicenter. I mean, I think about all of the extremely well-known artists that are obviously Taylor Swift is one of them. But I think yeah. about all of the big names that come out of Nashville and it's just become like this melting pot of super, uh, you know, talented people. Is Which that I what love. you who have you run into so far? Do you, have you made friends with some of those people that we're talking about oh in Nashville? Gosh. Um, no, does anyone want to be our friend? <laughs> yeah, please be our friend. Um, um, I, I don't know, it's like, it's so, like, you're like one person away from everyone yeah. here. It, I yeah. mean, in the culture yeah. here is so like close knit that everybody, even if you don't know them, everybody kind of has this kinship of like, yeah, like I see you, we see each other. Right. I mean, is there like a place where as artists, you guys are like, it, so like in Hollywood, right? All the, in Hollywood, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, like all the famous people hang out there, right? In Nashville, where do all the music people hang out? Like, is there a place oh, where you guys all like congregate? How does that work? It's like all the places that I think are trendy enough that music people want to hang out there are also the places that no person who does music for a living can afford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yep. Yep. Well, I mean, not yet, though, right? Not yet. Not yet. That's you had nice. five million not views yet. overnight. I mean, it's just we're just getting we started like with. Your, we love to see it. Yes. Not we're, yet. We're just getting not started yet. with your song. I mean, like, there's still a long way to go. I think it's going to become. I listen to it, and I laugh because the lyrics are so hilarious. I, I don't. It, they're <laughs> sad and funny at the same time because everything you're saying just is such a like a so true it rings so true yeah. to everybody's experience in 2020 and I, it's just witty and it's funny and it's raw and it's honest and i think a lot of people are going to connect going to connect with it right because we oh, all sure. Thank you. but it's true but it's it, you can tell that it wasn't like you sat down and you're like we're going to write a song today you could tell like all of these feelings were like visceral feelings about 2020 and how much mm -hmm. it sucked and then it came out in a song and it's just like, boom, here's the anthem to 2020 uh, and 2020 sucked and we all hope it's over soon. And just the way that you break down the lyrics and you freestyle was so funny to me. I'm laughing my ass off because it was so <laughs> funny when I heard the lyrics. I mean, it was easy because they were literally just what had happened. <laughs> My cat died. Died. Yeah. <laughs> it's just what happened. You know what they say, the truth is stranger than fiction or like, you know, you don't even need to try hard because it's so crazy. 2020 would be like, if you told somebody that wasn't from this dimension, what was happening in 2020, they would be like, I don't believe you. I yeah. cannot I believe stopped, that actually happened. I stopped believing it at the murder hornets. That's when I was like, okay, sounds fake. But I, <laughs> exactly. I saw that too. And I'm like, there's no way. Now, now they're saying, <laughs> they're saying, do you guys hear about this? A comet. It's supposed to, <laughs> it's supposed to come. It's supposed to swing by. Like obviously, there's like a zero, like a very small percentage of a chance, but it's supposed to come why by. Why doesn't like, it just? Do, why doesn't it just finish the job? I think about way? that all the time. I know that's a morbid thought, but it's supposed to swing by near like the day before election day. I'm like November second, <laughs> oh, and I gosh. I know I laugh too, and you don't even have to say it because I laugh too, and I'm like, this is too funny. It's sometimes I'm so cynical and morbid. I'm like, it just needs to hit. Like please. <laughs> Just like, let's just yes, start, like, can we just level yeah, everything like, and start over again, please? Honestly, yep. we go. We were meant it to make it this it, It's hard not to feel that way, but uh, instead of that happening, we can all get our, um, our tensions and frustrations out, frustrations out by putting your song on repeat. And yes, there we, there we go. There we go. Wow, good. Wait, That's a more peaceful way, that. more peaceful way of handling. So what's, so what's on, so what about 2021? What if, what if we have another really bad year? God forbid, are we going to write a song about 2021? Oh, oh. 
Um, we'll the remix. Out F 2021. <laughs> we should do like a, uh, a We Are the World style F 2020. Like we get a bunch of other singers. Oh, we get them all to like put a little line in. How have you guys been handling? Oh, wait, hold on. I want, I want to clap along with you without hitting my microphone. Ready? Oh. That was the most awkward delayed clap ever. Sorry. Uh, so are you guys in quarantine still? What are you doing over there in Nashville? Yeah, yeah, yeah every quarantine. Yeah, everything's really, uh, I mean, places are open. Places open yeah. yeah, which I mean, I get my takeout. Love that. Yeah. Um, but we, yeah, we've really just like, nothing's changed for us. We just hang out with each other. The only difference is we have to only do it like in our homes. I've, like, I think I've given away half of my <laughs> money to Uber Eats and Grubhub at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, hey, I can do it right now. Supporting local businesses and Absolutely. also Uber Eats. Absolutely. Are yep. you guys, are you all living together in the same place? No, we all live by ourselves, but we come over to Savannah's usually to- Is this a first? Like, She's guys, the only person with Wi-Fi. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Have you guys always <laughs> been like in each other's lives, physically in each other's business, like always, has it been like a sisterhood kind of? How has it been your relationship together? Yep. Yes and beyond almost. It's like, it's, 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 beyond sisterhood, it's, like, it's, past that. it's like if you combine coworkers, best friends, sisters, arch nemeses sometimes. Oh wow. Well, I mean, you have all it's, range it's, of emotions, right? Yeah. yeah all, yes. Have we, all of it. we have the range. Yeah. Are you guys, is a tour bus in your near future? Are you at that level yet? Are you at that point? Are you still driving in cars so. together? God, I uh, hope a tour bus is in our it's future. still cars now. I mean, if we were to be going anywhere, but you know. Well, I mean, was, I hope you come to California. You know, that'd be nice. Oh, we got you. You're gonna, <gasps> I want to go to California. I absolutely love so that. Come dry on out. heat, please. Any well, it's so time. dry that it's on fire and it's smoking everywhere. It's really bad out here. Right now. <laughs> But when it, when it clears up, when it clears up, which it will, we need you guys to come out and come hang out with us. And um, we'd love to see you perform live. Absolutely. Okay. I know y'all have to go, but it was great catching up with you. And I hope we do this again soon. Okay. Yes. Best of luck to you. I know you're going to do amazing things in 2020 and beyond 2021. Respect. All right, sisters. Peace. Avenue B. Thank you. Bye.